Hello, friends. I'm Pastor Pitts Evans. Welcome to the Whole Word Podcast. Let's get right to the Word of God. This next chapter is very, very short. It's only eight verses. And um, once again, I kind of disagree with the way that the editors that installed the chapter numbers and so forth chose to divide this, but it is what it is. And this chapter deals with ritual purification after childbirth. And I'll have a few comments at the end, but let me just say in advance, the, some of the details contained in this chapter were adhered to by Mary and Joseph the mother and father of Jesus in the New Testament. And I'll quote that passage for you in a few minutes. But as I read it, listen and see if you can catch the part that would have been applied to Jesus. And so Leviticus chapter 12, verse 1, The Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, A woman who becomes pregnant and gives birth to a son will be ceremonially unclean for seven days, just as she is unclean during her monthly period. On the eighth day, the boy is to be circumcised. Then the woman must wait 33 days to be purified from her bleeding. She must not touch anything sacred or go to the sanctuary until the days of her purification are over. If she gives birth to a daughter, for two weeks the woman will be unclean as during her period. Then she must wait 66 days to be purified from her bleeding. When the days of her purification for a son or a daughter are over, she is to bring to the priest at the entrance to the tent of meeting a year-old lamb for a bird offering and a young pigeon or a dove for a sin offering. He shall offer them before the Lord to make atonement for her, and then she will be ceremonially clean from her flow of blood. These are the regulations for the woman who gives birth to a boy or a girl. But if she cannot afford a lamb, she is to bring two doves or two young pigeons, one for a bird offering and the other for a sin offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for her and she will be clean. And so, as I I mentioned, this applied to both Mary and Joseph, the parents of Jesus, and to Jesus himself. All of them were Jewish. Mary and Joseph were observant Jews. Jesus was an observant Jew. And so uh, Jesus was born. His mother was ceremonially unclean for seven days. But on the eighth day, the boy was to be circumcised, and Jesus was circumcised. Some have noted in the past that um, the first time Jesus shed his blood, it was in the covenant of circumcision. He entered into a covenant with God and uh, his father, but he entered into a covenant with the Jewish people as well, the covenant of Abraham, the covenant of circumcision. And so Jesus was a Jewish boy. He was circumcised as a Jewish boy. His mother and dad were Jewish. And um, uh, just quoting again from this chapter 12, Leviticus chapter 12, verse 3 says, on the eighth day, the boy is to be circumcised. Well, Jesus was indeed circumcised on the eighth day. But it has more to say than applied to Jesus. I'm reading from verse 6. When the days of her purification for a son and daughter are over, she's to bring to the priest at the entrance of the tent of meeting a year-old lamb for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a dove for a sin offering. And then he shall offer them before the Lord. These are the regulations. Verse 8. But if she cannot afford a lamb, she's to bring two doves or two young pigeons one for the burnt offering and the other for the sin offering. So poor people were able to bring uh, doves or pigeons instead of a lamb and a pigeon and a dove. So in the case of the mother and father of Jesus, of course, Joseph and Mary, um, the story is contained in all four of the Gospels of the birth of Jesus, but some more details appear in the Gospel of Luke than the others. In Luke chapter 2, verse 22, we read, When the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Now, what were these purification rites required by the law of Moses? We just read them from Leviticus chapter 12. And so Mary was to wait 33 days to be purified after the birth of her son and then to go and 
to present him at the at the temple along with the sacrifice. And it goes on to say in Luke, verse 23, as it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. And so Mary and Joseph couldn't afford a lamb, but they could afford two pigeons or two doves. And this is what they presented for Jesus. And so our Lord and Savior was born into a Jewish family. He was a Jew, circumcised on the eighth day. His mother and dad went through the purification rituals, and they went through the purification offering at the temple for Jesus as the firstborn male child. And um, all of these things were done so that Jesus could fulfill the entire law of Moses. So this chapter 12 of Leviticus was one of many that was applied in the life of Christ, our Savior. So, Lord, we thank you that, um, once again, you made provision for rich and poor alike to be obedient to your will and your word. Lord, whether we're rich today or poor, may we be obedient to your will. May we walk with you today and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Whole Word. It was brought to you by Whole Word Fellowship and the Northern Virginia House of Prayer. If you were encouraged, please share our podcast with your friends. We'd also appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app and take a few moments to write a review. If you'd like more information on our church and our ministry, you can go to wholeword.net or wholewordpodcast.com for more information. Thank you again, and may the Lord Jesus bless you today and always.